Hello everyone, this is Daily Inspiration and I just want to share with you today is about walking in the light. So there's the presence of God in those who walked in the light. So they aren't always aware of the light, but it's evident in how we speak, how we act, and how we think about life, about our work, about our family, and the Christian faith. So the light that is within all the believers exposes and drives out the darkness. Satan and his demons can't stand the light of Jesus Christ in his people. So remember that Satan and the demons cannot stand the light in the light which is in the believer in the light of Jesus Christ and his people. So what can we learn from this uh, Bible verses about walking in the light? Number one is that walk in the light to keep from stumbling. In Psalm 56 verse 13, it says here that, for you have rescued me from death, you have kept my feet from sleeping, so now I can walk in your presence, O God, in, in your life, giving light. So when we walk in the light of Jesus Christ, we don't stumble in a sinful choices in life. So we are compelled by the light to recognize and resist temptations of the flesh, of our flesh. So our decisions to walk away or to walk towards sin will have an effect on how, on the brightness of the light in our lives so the second thing is that walk in the light so that you will be blessed in psalm 89 verse 15 happy are those who hear the joyful call to worship for they will walk in the light of your presence lord so being in the light of jesus christ reveals the favor of god in our daily walk the blessing of light is so much more than a material things. Rather, it is the Lord's presence and peace that hovers us to wherever we are or wherever we go. The third thing is that walk in the light as your spiritual birthright. In Isaiah chapter 2, verse 5, Calm descendants of Jacob, let us walk in the light of the Lord. So in the light of Jesus Christ, is a birthright to those who are the children of Abraham through the covenant. So we are stars in the sky and the sand of the seashore that represented Abraham's seed from through Isaac. So our, our spiritual heritage leads every believer down the path of victory over sin and over death. So we are no longer slaves and captives, we are free to accomplish everything that God has called us to complete. The four things that walk in the light instead of darkness. In Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2, that the people who walked in darkness will see a great light. For those who live in a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. So many of us can remember the moment of our turning, our of turning from darkness into light. See, in our sinful sinfulness in, and darkness, and darkness was normal, and we accepted it as, as part of our lives. However, because our hearts were ready, so the light wasn't a piercing pain in our spiritual eyes, rather it was a warm and welcoming light of hope. The fifth thing is that walk in the light of Jesus. John chapter 8, verse 12. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So this, in this generation, many call themselves the light, but they are counterfeits and cause many people to fall away from God. The light of Jesus Christ doesn't excuse our sins, but instead, his sacrifice brings us 
to a place of repentance with a desire to change the course. So Jesus will always lead us in the right direction of God's purpose. Number six, that walk in the light as, as children of light. John chapter 12, verse 35 and 36. You are going to have the light just a little while longer. Walk while you have the light before darkness overtakes you. Whoever walks in dark does not know where they are going. Believe in the light while you have the light so that you may become children of light. So as a children of light, we obey the precepts of our Heavenly Father and resist the temptation to disobey. So we are the children of light when we, when we obey what the Bible teaches and walk in faith. By following the light, we move in the right uh, direction even though we can't always see the next step. And number seven, the last thing is that walk in the light to have a right relationship with others. In First John chapter 1, verse 7, but, but if we walk in the light as he, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. So constant conflict, backbiting, and strife can't survive in the light. So only those who consistently walk in the light of Christ can enjoy a fruitful and a loving relationship. The fellowship and love that we have for the people of God is revealed as the light shines from within us. We no longer stay committed to our unforgiving nor unloving attitude because the light won't tolerate it. So in our conclusion, to walk in the light is to have a daily commitment to living out a righteous life. Those who are compelled to walk in the light resist fellowship with the darkness of the devil, the world, and of the flesh. So walking in the light renews and refreshes us within so that we are empowered to be a refreshment to those who are around us, to those people around us. And I hope that this message will give you knowledge that you will be a light to those who are in darkness. Thank you so much for listening and God bless you, my friend. And advance Merry Christmas for all of you there. God bless.